Hey, what is up? Welcome back Design Squad. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do two things. One, a counter, which starts from zero, as you can see on my screen, and two, a timer, which can increase by the second. And as it reaches 60 seconds, it's gonna pass a value to minutes. So you're gonna have two values, one in seconds, one in minutes, as a one clock, like a digital clock type of output. So that's gonna be really cool. This idea I captured from one of the emails I received from one of the viewers, Natalie, and she was asking how to do exactly that. So let me share it with you as well. So let's just jump right into it. As you can see, we're gonna start from scratch from zero. So this is just really a text field, which I called counter. And what we really need to do next is really just add a global variables to contain our value as we increase it. So I'm going to add the variable name and it's going to be counter. And let's start with zero. So we're going to start one, two, three, four, five, and so forth. And next, just just click out out of a text field and select new interaction. So it adds to whole prototype, not just a specific component and select page loaded, meaning that when every component is loaded on a page, we're going to kickstart this process, the smart calculation. And what we want to do is really just set text because we're going to need to take the value from our variable just like that. So I'm going to say value of variable counter take that value, assign it to the text field, and then display in our canvas, right? It just would be static read. What we want to do next is really just add an action to add to a variable. So I'm gonna say set variable value counter, and here you can just type it in as I do, like counter plus one. If you know how it's spelled, it's just gonna be like that plus one. So every time, every second, we're gonna add a new value and we're gonna kind of increase it. Just make sure that you keep the syntax the same as I'm here and it's set to value, simple as that. And then we're gonna wait for one second, as I just said. So let's have 1000 milliseconds and then re run this process because even if I preview right now, nothing would change because it just added that plus one to the variable value, but it didn't update the text yet because it ran afterwards, right? So we need to relaunch the circle of this loop and I'm just gonna add action. There's this fire event you cannot see on my screen, but it's the last option. It just got pushed out on my big screen um, and I'm gonna just assign to page an event page loaded and this is what's going to initiate the loop. So after all of this is read, we wait one second and then it initiates and fires page loaded again. So it's simple as that. And now if I preview, you're going to see that boom, it increases one second at a time and it would just go continuously until I would presume the cache in the browser runs out and it crashes or you know it could be millions of values because it's really just adding one single unit at a time and just reloading the component itself simple as that now what I'm gonna show you next is a bit more advanced and for that I'm gonna use this sketch file I found on sketch app sources link it down below it's by Andre and all I did is just really add this text field with some values here as you can can see I named it already timer so make sure to do that as well so you know what you are targeting and what we're gonna do next really is just literally recreate the same way add a global variable set the page load event or make that kind of like plus one uh, mechanism which I just shown you and it's done now if I preview boom as you can see just gonna add one by one but we're what really we want to do is split it in minutes and seconds whatever that value is right so what I'm gonna do is real I'm gonna keep the same thing here but what we need to do is just to add another statement and I'm gonna share it with you it's a specific snippet and I'm gonna quickly explain what it means but let's add another action and what you want to do is set text and set text to the timer but don't specify it yet what you want to do really is just drag that statement between set variable and wait time here we need to use a specific pseudo code like a JavaScript script to just increase it and splice the value into seconds and minutes and so what you want to do is just open the function delete that value and just write this down pause this video and write this out as is uh, because the syntax is super important here and I'm gonna explain what it means so as you can see the value in our case is divided by this column there is a seconds there is the minutes variable value is unique so just make sure you put in that specifically so it's counter for both and what we're saying is basically that counter we're gonna calculate the 60 seconds splice that into two 
that it's two digits at a time and that's for both minutes and the seconds and then we're gonna concatenate it as well pass that value into the minutes and we're also using math floor argument as well to even it out and so this is it you don't need to know it by heart it's totally fine make sure to just pause it and write this down somewhere just type it out and just copy paste it's as simple as that click ok and now you're gonna see if we preview it started from zero and it just adds one digit at a time. Now let me show you what would happen if let's say we go to global variables and we for whatever reason want to start our timer at let's say, I don't know, something crazy. So I'm gonna add like let's say 4,000 seconds Then it's immediately gonna reload that value and it's gonna start from, as you can see we have 66 minutes, we have 45 seconds let's say. That's how much it would be. You could also add yet another bit, but that's super challenging if you want to have also hours. It's up to you to explore that. There's going to be some math floor and some other splicing options you, you're going to need to play. But as you can see, it adds. And let me show you one trick of how you can specifically start in a specific minute and let's say second. So for example, if I want my timer to start at 38 minutes, 15 seconds, what I'm gonna do is really just go into my, let's see, search or whatever calculator app and just go 38 minutes uh, multiplied by 60. That's gonna give me that minute amount in seconds and plus 15 because it's 38, 15. It's gonna be 2295 seconds. So I can just go into my global variables, update that with that value 2295. And then if I now preview, it's gonna start at 3815. Boom, as you can see, it started at 16 because it took one second to upload. So maybe you can consider that as well. But as you can see, that works pretty damn well and it's gonna add. And now let me just wait for one minute to see if at 60 mark is gonna pass one minute into the minute values and boom as you can see it did and that's how you do it it's simple as that if you like this video and you're not subscribed by the date i can see that most of you aren't smash that subscription button give a like and on that note i'll see you next time